Ooh, good morning, everybody. Just gotta grab some coffee here real quick. Nice day outside today. All right, so as you guys know, we've been buying some pretty crazy lifted vehicles. Now, of course, we have this monster bus here, which is pretty cool. We've also got monster trucks, side-by-sides, and a few other lifted things. But what we don't have is a lifted RV. And today, that's gonna change. But first, a word from our sponsor. This video is brought to you by the Ridge Wallet. It's light, sleek, and industrial. It doesn't awkwardly fold or bulge in your pocket. And this thing has seriously changed my whole pocket situation. It holds up to 12 cards plus room for cash. There's over 30 colors and styles, including burnt titanium and carbon fiber, which is my favorite. Look at this old wallet compared to this. This thing, piece of junk. Get it out of here. The Ridge Wallet is where it's at. In fact, the Ridge team is so confident you'll like it that they're willing to let you test drive it for 45 days. You can send it back for a full refund if you don't love it. And if that wasn't enough, check out the over 40,000 five-star reviews on this. The durable material means each wallet comes with a lifetime warranty. You could buy this one wallet and carry it for life. You can get 10% off today with free worldwide shipping and returns by going to ridge.com slash farmer. Again, thank you to Ridge for sponsoring today's video. Anyway, so we got to head over to the shop and uh, we got to go grab a trailer to go pick up the brand new RV. So basically, I was looking on Facebook Marketplace the other day and I found this thing and uh, I couldn't pass it up. Horses, what, what are you doing? I still think the grass is greener on the other side. I'm telling him it's not. All right, there we go. Okay, so the question is, what am I going to tow back that RV with? Oh, we also have this RV, but it's, you know, it's, it's not lifted. Um, I think I left my truck and trailer down at the mud bog. At least the one that's big enough to actually pull what we needed to. Eh, you know what? We'll take the Renegade down there today. All right, here we are back at the mud bog. And I think this is our truck. Yes, here it is. This should do the job. We also have a semi somewhere with a big flat deck trailer, but I have no idea where it is. But this should work for today. I hope it does at least. Anyway, we got a bit of a drive into town here, so I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, here we are in town again. So I think the place is just up here. No cap, no stop. Yep, this is the place right here. Oh man, look at that thing. All right, uh, where are we gonna park? Is there really anywhere for us to actually park over here? Um, You know what, we'll just park right over here on the side of the road. This'll work. All right, let's go check this thing out. Gotta take a look at it before we buy it. We got a Fleetwood camper here. It's an E450. This thing is uh, it's pretty dang lifted. I don't even know how big the lift is, but it's got some serious tires on it. So uh, it should be able to go just about anywhere. Of course, it's an RV, so it's going to have everything else that we're ever going to want out of an RV. But uh, it does have this really cool draw pitch. We can get around here. Look at this thing. We're going to be able to tow anything we need to. I don't know if that's safe. Probably not. Anyway, let's jump in here and see how it runs. Oh, it rolls coal too. Okay, that's perfect. All right. Well, I think I want to buy this thing. So I'm going to go in and talk to the owner and see if we can negotiate a price. And uh, hopefully... We can take this thing home. All right. I bought myself a brand new RV. Well, new to us. But anyway, I want to get this thing home. And uh, I think we're going to take it out to the swamp. Because you know what better testing trials than to take this thing out to the swamp? The day we bought it, of course. I do have a few ideas to make this thing a little bit better. Like possibly a bigger lift. But for now, it is fine. But in the future, I have a few ideas for a bigger lift. And maybe a few other things. We'll see. Question is now, is this going to fit on the trailer? We're going to have the same problem as the monster bus where it wouldn't even fit on the trailer. This one should though. All right, we got to get this trailer unfolded first. Oh yeah, it looks like it's going to fit. This thing is so ridiculous. Okay, there we go. That should be good. Look at this thing. It is such a beast. It looks like more of a beast when it's on the trailer, but I don't even know if we're going to be able to fit through our gates. We'll see. I technically could have driven it home, but since this one would fit on the trailer, I think we're good. I don't know. Somehow I got away with driving monster bus home when i uh bought it but this one i seem to be fine too who knows maybe i should throw the chassis on from monster bus maybe, maybe not that exact chassis but a similar chassis from monster bus onto this thing anyway we got a bit of a drive back to the ranch here the uh the ford is definitely being pushed to its limits right now this thing is a little heavier than i thought it would be but uh i think we should be fine anyway i'll see you guys when we get back Okay, so we're back at the ranch here. We managed to make it up all those hills to get up here. But the question is now, will it fit through our gate? Maybe. Might clip the sign a little bit. Oh, I think we might be okay. All right, we're good. We managed to make it through. Get out of here, birds. In the middle of my driveway. Don't quite know why they're there. All right, let's park this thing right here for now. And it is off the trailer. This thing just looks so beefy compared to everything else maybe because it's an rv like this thing is pretty dang wide and long i mean i guess it's 
the bus is a little bit shorter i think i don't know hold on i'm gonna bring the bus over here and we'll compare it okay i don't even know if there is a comparison this thing oh man yeah maybe there's not a comparison this is way bigger but just imagine the rv on the monster bus frame i don't know if that's possible but it would be really cool that or maybe that big uh, america rv we got in there that one right there kind of can't see it i don't know can you hey yeah, can right there that'd be pretty cool oh also i forgot to mention we've got uh, rear stacks on this now so you hop in here when it rolls coal it rolls them out both out the back stacks so that's pretty cool we also got uh crab steering apparently it had it on there i just didn't know all right i gotta find a decent place to park this thing man i never thought it'd be a problem trying to find parking for my monster bus yeah yeah right about there should be good all right so now that we got the monster bus back here i was gonna hook up a trailer and maybe bring down a side-by-side -side or something to the swamp but i think we're just gonna take this for today you know what while we're at it we're probably gonna go pass by the mud bog on our way there so we might take this thing through the mud bog did want to mention though this thing still cruises so it goes pretty fast i think we got to come and swap it though that's the only thing all right let's see how this thing's gonna do let's just take it on in it's spinning a little but nothing much oh it is getting dirty really fast oh boy this thing's gonna be a pain to clean but I mean, it seems to go through it pretty good. It doesn't really have too big of beefy tires. I mean, it has a little bit, but like nothing too crazy. Let's give this thing a quick wash and then we'll take it out to the swamp. The same swamp that's a uh, sunk monster bus. So we'll have to be careful with this thing. I didn't think anything could sink monster bus, but apparently that could. So we're going to have to be a little careful with this thing, at least until we get a bigger lift on it, which will happen. All right. So we made it out here to the uh, swamp. What we got to do now is cross this bridge. I know we had a tough time with uh, Monster Bus last time, but I think this one... Oh, yeah, this one will make it across just fine. It's not quite as wide. You ever just want to go camping, this is the way to do it. You want to go camping out in the middle of the swamp? Just take your Monster RV. All right, I seriously got to watch where I go because I will sink this thing very easily. It does not have snorkels. All right, I wonder if I can make it to that little kind of island over there. If I quit getting stuck on a tree. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, it's a little deep. All right, we made it perfect camping spot right here look you ever want to be away from anybody when you're camping you know the, the regular campers are over there you know they're just sitting on on the side of the lake no no you're in the lake all right look you need to go over for supplies or anything maybe some firewood you just walk right across this log so you gotta have pretty good balance but uh, other than that you know walk right across you're good to go eventually one day i will get a vehicle that is tall enough to make it to that beaver dam currently we haven't had much success we sunk monster bus trying to get over there one day, though, I will find a vehicle that is big enough. I should have brought the pontoon boat out here. Could have just chilled on the water all day. This would have been great. Mind you, though, this thing is pretty much boat in itself. All right, so we managed to make it back here to the ranch. Uh, I feel like the RV might just be, like, a little bit waterlogged. You know, not too much, but, uh, yeah. I don't know. We opened the doors here. Probably going to be a bunch of water come out. Well, this is a ranch after all, and uh, chores still have to be done, like taking care of my horses. So, um, I think I have to go feed them. They're getting a little low on hay there. I know they have grass, but uh, the grass out there is not the best, so we do like to uh, still keep some hay out there. So, we're going to go put some out there real quick. But, I think I got to go grab a side-by-side, -side, because I'm pretty sure that's the way we did it last time, and it worked pretty well. So, we're going to do it the same way. Um, Where's my side-by-side -side at? Ah, yes, there we go. Six by six. Perfect. Question is, will it fit through? yeah just barely okay let's park this right about here for now okay so we already got a bale out here from last time so we'll just stick this thing on the back there we go just set it right there okay let's take this thing out to the horses gotta be careful or this thing might be a little bit tippy yet oh 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 that's a little tippy and like i said i gotta be careful all right horses i got your bale so the way i did this is i just back up to the feeder like so if you, if you could not walk on top of my side by side i appreciate that and then you unstrap the bale it's supposed to go it's supposed to go come on why, why are you guys walking on the top of my side by side okay there's a way to do this and oh nope uh, there we go that <laughs> works close close enough okay i don't know what's going on with these horses something's got into them i don't know what but anyway guys that's gonna be out of the episode for today if you did enjoy smash that like button also if you're new consider subscribing again thank you to ridge for sponsoring today's video hope you all enjoyed and i'll see y'all in the next one. I go straight from the bank, gassing up the tank, cranking up the radio, playing old Hank. It ain't that long till I'm back at the pond.